Yeah, hi Tolga. Hi Profil. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you want to discuss something? So, we found some pack package named React PDF with Guru, and this creates PDFs with React, and also it handles the page breaks that we are very confused about in our project. So mm -hmm. I can show you an created example. You can see the page break is handled perfectly. There's no problem about that. And it's automatically handled. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, do you want to discuss about technical, how you implemented other thing? Yeah, I want, I want that. So to use this package, uh, it has its own components. De declared for React. For example, here in the tweet, there's a component named view for divs, text for normal text for HTML, all the links and images. So there's a problem about that because we we will we want also we also want to render these documents to EPUB. And to create an EPUB document, we also need the HTML. But normally, these pack, this React PDF package doesn't have any HTML output. It only creates a PDF. So we talked about some wrapping around the React PDF package. So we created our own components using the, the, the P React PDFs components. So like there's a global environment variable called use HTML, use HTML. So if it is true, the components render HTML. And if it's not, it uses the original PDF the components. So with the same syntax and with the same code, we can generate both. Generate both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we just created an example. We created the tweet component and then rendered all the tweets in the thread using the same data we used before in the Twindle CLI. And we could also create an HTML output to show. Oops, there's a problem here. Okay, I need to install the packages. So let's render to HTML. Well, why am I getting as? So Puru changed the code a bit, so. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, okay. I have few observations. Yeah, okay, I'm listening. Pool, are you there? Yes, yes. Oh. Yeah, first let you fix it, then we can discuss. Oh, okay. I have the wrong JSON format. I need to get it from the pack to end. A minute. So whenever you send the link, right, I gone through that uh, project. 
only the biggest challenge i am facing right this is react js mm -hmm. and uh, yeah out of the blue we, if you keep on adding this uh, different framework the maintenance of our code would be extremely complicated because last couple of days back we have debated discussed and agreed that we will use swelt everybody like including puru i mean they agreed that you know we will use swelt for the twindle thread and for pretty understand you there's a problem with the sound hello okay it's better now yeah what i'm trying to say right a couple of days back we have discussed and agreed that Swelt is our framework of choice. Uh, yes, Tolga. Can we use Swelt if it can render Swelt to HTML screen? See, we can try, uh, but actually, see that point of I am trying to make, right? Because phase two, if I am stressing, this is just phase one interim solution. We have to re, re, refactor the code to make it more slim and thin to able to run in the lambda. This is we have not started the project yet. Because I'm joking, no problem. I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah. Sipuru, just for your context, right? Whether you introduce a React or more complexity, the CLI is eventually go away. This lambda handlebar is an intermediate solution. But once we host into a website, so we have to think about some other alternative solution. For example, Tolga and myself discussing what React JS is using React PDF is internally is using PDF Kit. So let us explore that. I got your point in terms of making the organization better. We can try to, you know, see handlebar is can be splitted or not, but I'm just afraid we may have to get rid of handlebar also in future because this puppeter and handlebar, the solution is not going to run into the, uh, like Lambda. See, I was before that, right? I was talking about one guy. I'm analyzing how he's doing that. Let me show it to you. You can see my screen, Puru. No, so, you can see it. Okay, I just want to say something. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. So, right now we are using handlebars and puppeteer. And I'm going to try implementing page breaks and also creating a PDF with PDF kit. So, after we decided on how to create a PDF, we could decide whether or not to use or use handlebars. Yeah, so, that, would, that would be the perfect sure uh... the time thing. That. Yeah, that is the perfect. I just let me uh, tell you about this thing. Puru, just one minute. Like this, Puru, there is a download this video. There is a one project. He's completely using AWS Lambda and SNS and Redis and Node.js. And he's only paying the 72, 70, dollars bucks. He has a 600 views, 600,000 followers. Uh, okay. But if you go into that uh, React.js other thing, right? I, I'm sure that we can't deploy that study rendering page into a serverless. There is lots of challenge. Now the, we don't worry it about the rendering part. Hmm? It just node says Node.js in the end. No, 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 no. Node.js also. Uh, uh, hey, hey, listen. Even the Node.js, right? The package size and because if you see puppeter, it is a hundred MB file. AWS serverless, the way it will uh, work, any NP module you have to push together with the code, it will download the puppeter again, 100 MB file for each transaction. So the code start would be humongous and we will get a huge amount of NFT bill. So for that AWS Lambda, right, we have to optimize the code into a significant way. So we have to be extremely okay. careful about introducing any dependency. Because, for example, React is not only for the rendering part. We only need for the rendering part of our PDF. But React is more powerful in terms of data binding, two-way data binding, or in terms of uh, other uh, virtual DOM and all this thing. 
do we don't care about the performance optimization and use a fair react hooks all this thing right we just need a dummy rendering we have some data we have some html just mess this to and create pdf that's it our requirement if you see it is extremely uh, only the view layer or rendering part we need from react introducing a framework honestly it is honestly complicated initial development may be easier but it is not a scalable solution so the conclusion is that right tolga will explore that uh, react pdf called base and he will see that how they have implemented pdf with react so the dependency and uh, come up with a solution like how they implement page break using some algorithm so we'll try to implement that using the handlebar and puppet at this moment but later point of time we try to come with the rendering decommissioning also tolga you agree with that oh, i think he was on mute Bru, you got it yeah i got it but the only problem with using handlebars right now is that we we simply can't implement that page break uh, the intelligent page break algorithms we simply can't with handlebars yeah so that we is to go into pdf kit only yeah we can go to pdf kit but that's the reason right we can explore the pdf kit uh, tolga will explore now and he will come up with the he will extract that algorithm from that uh, react pdf part and come up with that uh, dynamic intelligent uh, you know page break then we'll focus on the rendering uh, part okay because this uh, react js is just a rendering part uh, and also one of the algorithm they have mentioned right it is pure vanilla js code it is like dom rendering checking the height checking the width checking the node size all this thing yes it is uh, and also it is not very complicated it, it is definitely advanced it is not for beginner or intermediate but for you and tolga it would be a good opportunity for you to you know explore that particular code okay see now whatever you are doing right for react you are just using that uh, pdf for react and uh, again doing the for loop and uh, you know comp creating multiple component so there is no fun in that uh prabhul that but uh, yes there's no fun in that but apparently it's quite boring but that's the thing we need boring the handlebars is getting way too exciting for us we, we don't want that excitement no no that rendering part right because we are not having problem with uh, today we are not discussing with the rendering part we are want to discuss the page break part let us focus on about that discussion we are mixing these two thing bro you got it i got it but that doesn't mean i have to like it really. yeah, that is fine that is uh, not a concern but uh, the issue is that right to introducing react at this stage and different framework i personally don't like that tolga also very clearly explained that for the rendering optimization we can discuss more and we can come up with some other solution then we can evaluate that but not because of that because of the pdf we can go to pdf so for fixing pdf we are bringing react pdf so that can't solve both the issue both has a distinct issue distinct problem set and we have to solution for both the thing separately uh, wait, 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 wait a second uh, react pdf does bring a solution to the page break problem it automatically uh, handles that problem yeah, that, out of the box uh, no that we don't want because that's what what we introduce because introducing any framework right puru is not a good healthy practice for the project's point of view because that day we debated discussed and we introduced the swelt so because of pdf fixing problem we can introduce react for out of the blue because this project can't be dependent upon puru and tolgar profile it should be vanilla js and each and every we can't bring multiple framework puru that is very clear on that okay point taken but uh, eventually if you think to react right we have to move that uh, twindle thread to react also if you agree then i can uh, accept this thing you uh, in one part you will use swelt another part you will use react another part you will come with angular js that is not a proper strategy people will laugh on us 
Okay, I'm I'm fine with reacting there. <laughs> no, no. Yesterday we debated, discuss you only the uh, brand ambassador for Swelt, and uh, one day after that we cannot change it. Once we made decision, we have to stick to some day at least. We have to give a very good, uh, bad impression to the people changing decision day by day, right? But anyway, we'll evaluate yeah. that again. Okay. But this, uh, see, as as I am clear about this, that is not a big thing. This React PDF is just kind of wrapper and using some intelligent PDF. That challenge may be addressed several times. So I request uh, Tolga to explore that uh, he agreed also. PDF kit with the dynamic page breaking, let him spend some days. Then we'll evaluate again how to do the rendering part. And we'll come up with some solution. Maybe Swelled, we can use it. Okay, I'm fine with that. As long as as long as it comes out to be much more maintainable than the handle. Yeah, process. then we can use Swelled, right? Swelled is also that kind of... See, Swelled React is once we decide that rendering part, it is it just needs to spit out some HTML. Swelled is also more powerful to spit out the yeah. HTML, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Can we like can we uh, return get the HTML thing out of Swelt? I couldn't find something. Uh, yes, you can actually. The the Swelt also provides a render function which automatically. Uh, I mean the render function. If you run it in SSR mode, there's an SSR mode there. It it automatically spits out the specific HTML and CSS only. Okay. Like, can you send me that and how to create a basic Swelt app? Like, create a React app function. Uh, okay, I'll look into it. Then Puru, like React PDF, right? We can have Swell PDF. That is the power of our Twindle project. So people will started using the Swell PDF. Don't you feel excited about that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, in the end, all I want is just like putting away complexity into some other file. That's what we need. So yeah, I'm excited for that. I don't mind because putting introducing because we discuss agreed and swell see I, I do my sketch notes into react js so if you see for me review coding everything in react would be very easy for me I work in react class folks and I'm doing this uh, reducer all this thing nitty gritty I know but it is not about me right but I know don't know I don't know swell but because you said and Amin said and I also got the code I convinced if it is beginner friendly so that is the only one objective we have our objective also clearly articulating from day one we want to be a platform where beginner would be appreciated to contribute multiple framework would uh, uh, introduce that friction even though as a core member right we have to struggle a little bit but the out end of the day if you achieve it right it would be easy for other people right only we have to Puru, you and Torga needs to sort out how the PDF kit is integrated, how intelligent PDF page breaking is working, and how we can create a swell. But once we have the framework ready, anybody can come and understand swell. They can add or remove the fields. Don't you think that can be possible? Okay. So yeah, so we are we are basically going to reinvent the React PDF as a swell PDF kind of. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because Swell, we agreed. I convinced like we should call Swell. Just creating page breaking. We are going to like move slowly because it's a big package actually. React PDF there. Yeah, definitely. We, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. We will come. See, no need for uh, implementing each and every uh, feature about the React PDF, right? Uh, swell PDF is yeah, not about same. target, but whatever we can have some su subset and uh, gradually after one year, who knows that we can mature it. Mm -hmm. But any project will start with the basic their uh, requirement first. So we'll focus our own our requirement. We'll create our own template. We'll create our own stuff. Like in future, it may happen. If it doesn't happen, also it is fine. But we can solve our own issue, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Puru, are you fine now? Yeah, I'm fine. You can say I'm fine. Tolga? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. Yeah, so lots of interesting work for you guys. So I'm also excited to see this is one of the challenging part. Yeah, me too. And I also found SSR with Swell. Okay, that's, no that's, that's great. So happy coding. Yeah, yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.